Welcome back, friends and family, to another fabulous episode of Have a Seat with Uncle Rube. And today we got a popular hot rodding of May 64 with a beautiful, beautiful Model T on the cover. And I really, really love that car. It's, it reminds me of that other car that was the Oakland Roadster Show winner. I think maybe also around that time, 64, 65, I don't know, and they made it into a Hot Wheel. I love that car. It's just one of the prettiest cars, and I don't know what it is about Model Ts, especially if they have fenders on, it makes it look so cool, you know? You, like the first thought you see from, like, if, the my first thought, if you see it from the front, it kind of reminds me of the Monster Coach without being yeah, it's weird and of course you think about that little hot wheel man it's so cool man I, like i should next time i go through like um hot wheels and and magazines maybe i do like a lineup of like the hot wheels and you know if you want to know if you want to hear me talk about old hot wheels let me know leave something in a comment even if no one is really doing that as Except people that like uh, advertise certain websites, which I don't like. But hey, so here's what's going on in this issue. My issue is that I'm not in 64 and don't have 29.95 for that wheel because that's a really nice wheel. Almost looks like a radiator, but it, it says SE. So I don't know if that's radiator or not. It looks like a radiator rim. And I know the inflation would, yeah, it would be way more money than I would think it is, but who cares. Is that the Beach Boy Coupe? It looks like the Beach Boy Coupe car. And it looks like an old engine, but no blower. What's up? And those hubcaps, I, I never saw it with those hubcaps. Weird. And uh, I think someone at the moment is restoring that thing. And whatever happened to that symbol that was in the blower drive, you, you know, in the pulley, there was a symbol, even in the Hot Rod magazine. And then I was thinking, what's, what's going on? You know, like what's going on with Charles Manson, the Beach Boys, and then they used that as a promotion car? That's weird, huh? Uh, classic and antique. Really? Antique cars back in the day? <laughs> wow, that's cool. Um, I have that. If you want to see that in a future episode, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Or and sub subscribe or anything. Wow. $1.98 for a Roth shirt. I wonder how much he charges if he, you know, on the silk screened shirt, what he was doing. Just like airbrush over it so it looks all crazy with all the fluorescent colors and stuff. I wonder how much more that would be, you know, back in the day. I know for what they sell for today. Are you curious about the Ford T5? Because in Europe it sold as a T5 because there, there was a toothpaste manufacturer back in the day that was called Mustang and they were suing Ford and telling them they can't use the Mustang as the name. Those things are so cool, but what always bothers me, every time you find one for a decent price, it's a Slant 6. Nothing against the Slant 6, but like, I don't know, you know, you all listen to the Barracuda song and stuff like this, so yeah, it's kinda. So there we have the Winter Nationals. Nice cars. Cool. I will be scared. Man, that would make such a cool poster. So one time I was in a pit. I was in a pit crew of a vintage. I know I say that wrong. Sorry. Uh, dragster, a slingshot dragster. And they were like, hey, Rube, you know, like, you want to sit in and, like, hit the throttle because they needed to adjust something? I, I don't remember. The only thing that I do remember is I was, like, squeezing in. And, you know, my, my family, 
tools down there. They were right there on the differential. And I refed it a little bit. I hit the throttle a little bit. And I think, you know, the whole frame tweaks, it was on, on check stands. And I was scared to death. I was like, please just take me out. Please, please, please. Wow, those release. What is that? Looks like... Like a Nash? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know anything. What I do know, I love Dean Jeffries' Manta Ray. And the first time I saw that, I was a little kid at the Peterson in LA. And I spent at least like 40 minutes in front of that car. And my mom obviously took me there and she was like, hey, I'm tired, let's go home. And I'm like, no, hey, this is so amazing if you just like follow all the lines and the paint and everything, it just blew my mind. And inside it had that four fur, fur, that gray fur, oh my God, that, it just like, like stole my mind. I don't know, and I came home and I was drawing those things, like kind of the shape and it's just amazing. And I, I do believe he built that on a on an indie frame or like a chassis of like a race car. So cool, so cool. I don't know if you want some. You probably know that, that thing. I have it as a Hot Wheel from the 100% Hot Wheel thing that they came out like in the late 90s. I have it. If you want to see my Hot Wheels, let me know. Now, do you spend another thousand bucks on balancing if you build a mild street engine? I don't know. I don't know. The, my favorite transmission. Even I'm a big old guy. The power glide, I had a 68 Chevy Impala and it had a 327. And again, I, I mentioned that in, a, like in another video, I'm not a Chevy guy. But I tell you guys, that thing hauled ass. I was on a country road and I hit the throttle and the thing was doing 120. And I'm not like, all my gauges never work because I'm a horrible mechanic. But I had like my little GPS in there and it really was doing 120 with a power glide. I mean, it, it revved, I don't know how high, but it must be like kind of high for a small walk. But this thing hauled ass. And I still like felt there would be more, but it's, you know, windy roads where I live. And at some point, my passengers got scared. So I lifted, I lifted my foot off the throttle. So there we have Ford's big, well, which, which is an awesome engine. I said that before in a different video, I really love FEs. They are, except, you know, that push rod, um, that push rod intake situation we have. We have, you don't see that here. Here, you know, where, where the push rods go through the intake. Um, yeah, I know that, but everything else is awesome. I really, really love that engine. And that's cool too. I love I love uh, Thunderbirds as a hot rod and I love them as a custom. I recently saw one in gold, my custom with Lancer hubcaps. This thing is just so simple, but so cool. It's just cool. Then we get the blown hers. And that thing looks cool with a 348 or a 409. I think it's a 348. Cool with a blower. Man, that thing is cool. And there we have Willis with a fuel injected small block. Also, very cool. Cool. And there we have a lower end Model T, which also looks kind of cool. I wish it would have fenders. That thing with fenders almost would, would look like the thing that Gary Choppet built 
that red uh, truck with fenders and just like just low like channeled and so so cool so cool and that thing is nice too no front brakes slicks in the rear hell yeah and there's a Henry J or Allstate or whatever it is badass Ooh, punch by poncho with a Pontiac fuel injected Pontiac hell yeah no water pump just go from the freeze blocks see this is what I, I want to do I um, I want to build um, I'm building a, a 324 a cubic inch Oldsmobile engine that's been bored to a four inch so it has more like it's it will I, I guess it will like ref a little bit higher because the, the bore is bigger than a stroke and um, I have the, the moon uh, timing chain cover so I was just thinking I punch out the rear uh, freeze blocks and run the rear freeze blocks together in a Y down with an electrical water pump and um, then back to the trunk where I gonna hide a little radiator and it's gonna be like more of a like gazer car I don't know if you guys approve of that or not oh converted coupe and that's why he has the cover on Oh. Yeah, see, if you sit in that thing and have your, you know, your legs go over there, it, it gets scary. And there we have the double double with two are those small blocks that look like small blocks. Or I don't want to say you guys something wrong. Oh no, because I'm not. Yeah, fine. Sorry, I didn't say the F word. Uh, those are uh, Chrysler, Chrysler engines. Man, I did not see that. I, I can't know anything, like everything. You know, sorry guys. I know that this is scary and it gets more scary, but at least this looks safer than this. And there we have the cover car, the Canadian cover car, which looks cool. This is so cool. It's just simple with the pinstripings and kind of those long scallops. It looks nice. With a Merc. Flatty. This thing looks really nice. Not as cool as that Oakland Roadster Show winner, but still like really cool. Oh, speaking about the Oakland Roadster Show winner, there it is. Yeah, see it has way skinnier tire in the front. That makes it look a little bit more mean, I think. And it looks like it has radiators on. And a small block. And that Jaguar rear axle is just so cool. So cool, and everything is chrome. No, it doesn't have radiators on, it has those other rims on, I think. Yeah, here, those things. And those are so cool. I saw those in, an, in another magazine that I recently featured on here. And I told you guys, like, I could see this on every 60s style hot rod because it always fits. It, it's a cool looking wheel. So there we have the Oakland Road to Show. Nice small T. Yeah, that thing also looks very cool. I don't know about those fenders. I don't know. That looks kind of sporty like this. That looks cool. It's just okay. I do have have to admit. The fenders, they give it like that that European, like a uh, road racer kind of 
feel, you know? And I could, like, it almost looks like what you had, like, back in the day in a model kit. So that's, that's cool. Man. Cool, Gaza. I don't know what engine that is. Looks like a nail head, maybe? I don't know. Hard to say. Cool. Wow, this is really long for like a 60s magazine. Oh, and there we have Big L. Is it called Big L? I think it's Big L. That thing must have been so loud. So loud with that Allison. Oh yeah, it's called, it, it is the big L. What always bothered me that he looks outside the top. Why not like chop it a little bit less and he still sits inside? I, I know it's hard to see, but like would have been cooler, I think. Oh, headers. Now look at that. Are there any any for Oldsmobile? No, because everybody always hated Oldsmobile. So there you have it, guys. Well, that was a good magazine. It started lame with that Mustang and uh, the Barracuda, but it really. Is, it, like it really became cool, I think. Let me know how you like it. And let me know what you want to see more of, you know, hot rod magazines or lowrider magazines, okay? Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.